Welcome back everyone. This is the Vintage Sewing Machine Garage. thought I'd show you some of the parts that I have been polishing on and why it's important to do this with any of your vintage sewing machine tension assemblies. So tension assemblies uh, can be problematic for any number of reasons. They can have dirt, they can have burrs, they can have old oil. And in the case of mine, there was some pitting. So uh, I've gone in and polished these, but I wanted to show you what they can sometimes look like. So if you look at this this here, uh, sometimes you will see discoloration that, you know, you still have a smooth disc, but it's discolored. So I'm going to take, I've already, like I say, I've polished these. Uh, I decided not to have you guys, you know, suffer through watching me polish them. But uh, I wanted to show you what I did to get these smooth and, and why I'm glad I inspected them. Most of the disc surfaces were perfectly fine. They needed cleaning, but they were smooth. Okay. And what I found after going on, you know, throughout the whole disc was I saw some areas that looked a little discolored. And color isn't the issue, but sometimes, you know, you're not sure what have you got here. Have you got something that's simply stained or is it pitted? Now, there's a little place right up here that's a little different color. And when I take my, a lot of times you can take your thumbnail or your fingernail and kind of go across it. And if it's pitted, you'll feel it. You'll feel a bump, right? Well, I did. And so I went and got my wet dry sandpaper. This was 600 grit. I wouldn't use anything uh, rougher than 600. You can also use 800 or 1000 grit. So what I did was I took this, uh, this some people call it, it maybe the emery cloth, I don't know. But anyway, this is a very fine grit sandpaper. And I went over the area, right? And was able to, and it didn't take much. You're not gonna do a lot of grinding here. Uh, and now it is perfectly flat and smooth. I don't feel any bumps. There's still some staining here. And again, the polish will help seal up. But this is a, a great example of why you want to do inspection, disassembly, and uh, cleaning if you need to. Now the spring, I don't know if you guys remember, but the spring had some, some oxidation uh, and it had some, where is it? There was like a patch here, which I've since polished, so it's no longer rust colored. Uh, I, I suspect, you know, the plating around the spring is gone. But it's been, you know, it's been, I've, I've cleaned as much as I could here. It's now stained, but I've got most of the oxidation off and it's surrounded by the metal polish to help keep it from oxidizing further. And I noticed that in the little, particularly on the sides of the uh, check spring on this piece here, this sort of U-shaped piece, there was uh, rust. And so I, I remember I coated it, let it sit, I went back, and when I went back to to, to polish up, sure enough, I was getting some, uh, some rust, right? It came off, and you can still see some here on the end of the Q-tip, a uh, little brown coloration, which is different than the pink of the polish itself. And again, what I'm trying to do is get off the oxidation, right, without harming the spring. Remember, these springs, you want to be gentle. Uh, if you bend them or warp them out of shape, can create other kinds of issues and you'll need a new spring, but I'm trying to be extra careful here. So notice I'm going in and try to get all sides of this. <clears throat> and the reason you want to do this is you want, if you can, to keep the original check spring as long as it's, you know, not broken or bent. Uh, no reason to replace it. The originals are better made, although I'm grateful that we have replacements because sometimes if you can't get a vintage part, you need a, um, a new reproduction so you can get your machine back in working order. So here again, and you can see when I put the polish on and then I rub with the um, uh, uh, cotton swab, you know, I'm getting some, uh, getting some of the oxidation off here. Now I may, may or may not be able to get all of it off without damaging the spring, and I won't. What will I do? I will simply take uh, what I've done here, and I know that I've got polish coating the spring now, you know, a film of it after I've sort of polished and buffed it off. And so the check spring will be ready to use again. But again, this is a, an example of why you do this. 
I also took polish on the beehive spring here and um, to my earlier point about dropping objects um, and I didn't really see or pull sometimes it's hard to see oxidation on a on a dark colored you know, piece like this so I, I just took the polish and went around and if there was any oxidation on there it came off and that um, that, that was sort of the long and short of how I did this. But again, this is the reason you want to do that is because if you have burrs or a little pitting uh, or old oil or dirt, it's going to impact your thread. And remember, your thread passes through these discs. So it's really important that they be taken care of. Again, this is not really maintenance you have to do on a regular basis. This is an overhaul procedure. It's possible this tension assembly has never come apart in the whole, in the whole life of the machine. Very possible. But there you have it. That's that's kind of a good reason and justification for doing this. Now, some many times I take these assemblies apart and nothing's nothing's dirty, nothing's wrong. I polish them since I have them apart anyway. And, you know, it's an ounce of prevention uh, worth a pound of cure. But uh, you don't know, right? You, you don't know what you're going to get, as the cliche goes. So you want to open things up and take a look uh, at something that's been sitting for a very long time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Just thought this might be helpful for you, whether you have a 403A or any other vintage sewing machine. Your tension assembly is a really important part, and uh, you will be an unhappy sewer if your tension assembly is unhappy. And this is the one of the ways to, to get it to wake up gently and uh, giving it a nice little overhaul that it's, uh, it was designed to have. These machines were designed to be uh, maintained. And... This one is way overdue, but we're doing our best here, and we'll see what we come up with um, as we go through the, uh, the full overhaul process. Thanks for watching.